Hey folks, it's Phil from 15 Minute Guitar Practice. Today we're going to be looking at some weird blues chords. Nothing too crazy weird, but definitely something a little different to the norm. Okay, we're going to just go through it real quickly. There's a one chord, a four chord, and a five chord, and there's a couple of things that I did there. So let me show you. I started with your kind of standard blues rhythm figure. I'm playing in B, so we're at the 7th fret, I'm playing 7 on the bottom E, and 9 on the A, and pulling pinker, <laughs> pulling pinker, maybe not pulling pinker, putting pinky down on the 11th fret. That's another video. Okay, so don't need to go through that, because if you're familiar with the blues, that's like a standard given thing that everybody does and you should know. Um, so when we went to the four chord, I played this. The first time I went to the four chord. Okay, now this is not as unusual as it looks. It kind of looks weird because there's a bit of a finger stretch and, well, let's check it out. What I'm actually playing is just an E7. Now all I've done is refingered that to play it starting with my um, third finger followed by my second finger and then pinky and then I'm using my pointer finger down at the fourth fret more of an interesting sound a little different to the norm and if you're playing with another guitar player a jam or just another buddy and he's playing like a standard um, seventh bar chord then then this is a kind of interesting alternative Now we've not added anything um, in terms of additional colour, we've just reordered some of the notes. So what I've done here, we usually start on the root and then it's the third of this chord. This is the third of E. And then it's the flat seven. All I'm doing is with this note here, I'm doubling up. I'm the third of the chord, okay? But just an octave low, which gives it that kind of interesting sound. Okay, so back when I went back to the one chord, back to that, then the second time I went to the four chord. I played that. It's a variation of what I've just done. And out of context, if you just played that, that can sound very weird because we've basically got um, a bunch of tritones. So that can sound weird, but in this context, it sounds okay. And what I've done really is only um, if we go back to our D7 and the shape we played before with the fourth finger, uh, the first finger down on the fourth fret. All I've done is just move the root now. I'm not playing the root anymore. What I'm doing is moving that root down two frets. So if this was the root, the root is one or eight. This is seven, and this is flat seven. So it, this time I'm doubling up the flat seven. So we've got flat seven as the top note, and then the second note, and we've got a major third or, or a three for the first note, the lowest note in the chord, and the third note in the chord. So it goes so third flat seven, third flat seven. And remember, it should have this root. Okay, so that's what we did for that. Then I went back to the one chord, but this time I played this, I think. Okay, so that is um, not much different to what you would normally be playing. So I'm playing on the seventh fret. Seventh fret. 
uh, on the B, seven on the E, six on the A, seven on the D, six on the G. It's a B9. Just play it here instead. And then I think just before I went up to the five chord, I added my pinky in here. color before the move to the five chord. Now the five chord is exactly the same um, shape as our first version of our four chord. It's this ninth, um, this seventh shape, this D7 kind of open D7 looking shape. Refingered. So I'm now at the ninth on the A, eight on the uh, D, nine on the G, and first finger is here on the sixth. And I did a little bit of interplay, I think, with the first finger ascending. Probably didn't do it quite like that, but anyway, so I'm just using that. And then moving that finger up one fret. Then changing to the four chord. to our one chord. Now I did a little. Okay, so you can use that. When you're using that, if you're going to use that ascending motion, um, start with playing the fifth string. So get that root in there first. Okay, before you start the uh, ascending bit. So you can, you can fret this note, but if you uh, just want to be a bit selective about where you place your pick, make sure you get hit the fifth string before you then start hitting the sixth string and the ascending part. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this quick lesson. Um, the tab is available in the description below. If you like this, then like it. <laughs> um, please subscribe if you haven't already and um, leave me a comment below if you have any questions or requests for covering other stuff. Alright guys, this is Phil from 15 Minute Guitar Practice saying bye for now. See ya.